Let's continue with soil preparation for planting and propagation of rosemary crop. Rosemary does not grow well in waterlogged or high clay soils. If the clay percentage of the soil is too high, like I had mentioned, beyond 30%, application of gravistone with a diameter of 1 to 2.5 cm can be made and that can be worked into the soil before planting. This will assist in aeration of the roots. Other practices of incorporation of good compost will also be beneficial. Herbal and essential crops grown in natural soils always yield products that are of high quality and in demand globally. So to avoid low marketing aspects of your crop, always try to grow your herbs in natural soils. The general soil preparation guidelines are as follows for rosemary. One, take soil samples according to the correct guidelines. Have the soil analyzed at the laboratory that will be able to check for mineral deficiencies and excesses, organic status and carbon ratios. Always do a soil analysis that will guide the producer in correcting the nutritional status of the soil in order to provide the crop with optimum growing conditions such as a balanced mineral status and the correct pH. Soil fertility levels have to be within acceptable ranges before a soil building program is started. Correct the soil pH according to the analysis and the soil type. The fertilizer use has to be planned according to where the crop will be grown in organically or organically. Soil preparation has to be done according to good cultivation practices and apply suitable soil preparation practices according to the farm operation, i.e. you've got to do the reaping, the plowing, the disking, the harrowing and the contouring depending on the quality and the type of the soil as, as per the results you shall get from the soil analysis expert. Again, farmers, it's good to always remember before you plant your herbs, you must make sure that your soils are properly analyzed and given out the results that are going to help you enhance the medium of planting. If mechanical harvesting and weed control is going to be used for the growth of rosemary, prepare raw weeds adapted to machinery to be used like just like we create the canopies in the tea farms remember for rosemary we create the canopies and if you're using any mechanical harvesting or weed control then you must make sure that you plant in a system where the canopy is going to develop properly during the planting slopes are not so important though they can help if the soil has some high content of clay. Rosemary needs full sun. Rows should be oriented east to west on the land if possible and on the sloped land planted on the warmer slopes facing north and west. Remember Rosemary's cuttings do not require covering. They require full sun the whole day with the right amount of water. Remember the seed bed has to be warmed or heated. Planting density or spacing. As you remember, we are creating a canopy. Field spacing has to be done according to farming methods applied. Seed beds with a width of 1.2 meter and row space of 40 to 50 centimeter are found effective with mechanized cuttings. Remember, harvesting of rosemary will always require the use of mechanized cutting or sometimes human labor that require the rows that are within the canopy. Plants established at 25 to 50 centimeter within the rows so that the soil is covered quickly. A total of 50 to 60,000 plants are planted per hectare, which is the normal practice. I will repeat, in one hectare, a total of 50 to 60,000 plants are planted as a normal practice. However, 
depending on the method that is going to be used for cutting and harvesting then this can change but it do not change to a varied figure the planting dates can be prepared according to the planting of the procedures of the greenhouse and can be transpla transplanted to the field in spring or during the midsummer in the case of south africa and central africa you don't have to use the greenhouse to do the cuttings although when it comes to the heating of the seed bed then you got to look for the greenhouse procedures with the help of extension officers available within their backyards this procedure of planting date can be advised further rosemary does require fertilizer especially if your soils have been tested and advised accordingly a base of fertilizer application containing nitrogen phosphorus potassium and sulfur should be applied annually according to the soil analysis results rosemary responds well to additional applications of nitrogen usually made after each harvest to promote new shoot growth and during the growing season you're not supposed to give excess nitrogen because the quality of the essential oil may also be affected and this is so because excess nitrogen reduces flowering it interferes with the fragrance of the oils and the flavor so it is very very important for the farmer to note that you are not supposed to provide excess nitrogen fertilizers for the rosemary crop an analysis of organic compost will always assist to provide correct application rates that is why compost manure is always not recommended for rosemary cultivation because it has no analysis of the above mentioned nitrogen phosphorus potassium and sulfur if the farmer is using irrigation system to grow rosemary then you have to make sure that when establishing this procedure irrigation should be done when the cutting is developing after the development of the cutting then rosemary does not require a lot of water hence a lot of care is needed do not allow the plant to dry out completely during the development but do also do not over irrigate when the mature plants are in place remember anything exceeding 500 mm of rainfall per year or equivalent of irrigation water in the canopy is destructive to the crop hand weeding and protection of weed is what is recommended hoeing is very important although because of the rooting system and pattern of rosemary it is not recommended to use any machinery for weeding you should use your hand and encourage the formation of canopy that protects the crop from weeds extension officers from various departments of agriculture should be able to be in hand to provide you with information concerning weed control on rosemary disease control rosemary is a strong ordered crop and therefore it has its own natural way of keeping off a lot of pests however crops that are fed using irrigation water especially over irrigation may always result to fungal problems powdery mildew is a common problem within the rosemary crop as well as root rot which occur mostly in wet soils if you find your crop has these two problems the powdery mildew and the root rot then you need to consult your agricultural extension officer concerning the condition of the soil disease control guidelines are followed according to the information provided by the crop management board of your area and this is always available from commercial input and service provider available in your area on weed management the following points should be noted do not allow weeds to seed in the land no till practices resorts to fewer weeds 
shade out weeds by plant canopy like I had mentioned. Make sure that you plant high plant density, closer row width, moisture content of the soil to be observed and make sure that you use crop specification when it comes to moisture content retention so that you can discourage a lot of weeds to germinate. Use manuals and mechanical control for weed control. Organic control measures such as flame weeding, use of UV radiation in developed countries have always been used for weed control. For pest control, rosemary is vulnerable to spider mites, mealybugs, white flies and thrips. Careful man monitoring and crop rotation as well as applying insecticide or soap with lightweight horticultural oil will assist in keeping the foliage free of pests. However, if you're doing your farming in the category of organic farming, you may have to consult organic experts in terms of what to use to keep off the spider mites and the mealybugs. White flies have a piercing sucking mouth parts which they use to suck sap from the leaves of the plant. They also excrete large quantities of honeydew which serves as a growth medium for sooty mold. So should you find sooty mold on your crop, then you need to look for white flies because they are the ones that excrete large quantities of honeydew which serves as a growth medium. Spider mites feed preferentially on the lower stem and then move on to feed on the upper section of the plant and on the leaves. The leaves may later turn yellow and drop off. Silk well-being may be present when infestation is heavy. So to avoid the silk webbing, you need to fight spider mites on your crop. Many bug females feed on the plant sap. They attach themselves to the plant and secrete a powdery white waxy layer used for protection while they suck the plant juices. I don't know whether this has happened to you. I don't know whether you have touched the stem of any rosemary plant and found out that it has a waxy touch. That waxy touch is a secretion that is always secreted by mealybug females when they are sucking the sap and the plant juices. Now that waxy layer is very protective of the mealybug and also exposes your crop to many other attacks. Thrips feed on leaves with their piercing and sucking mouth parts and damage the plants, causing browning and leaf drop. This is a very common problem in Kenya, especially in the Rift Valley. The thrips, they are not visible and most of the time thrips will spread many other diseases. For further information and identification of these insects and diseases, and for recommended, recommended control measures, the extension officers should be contacted to give you more ad expertise advice on what should be done. Let's look at uh, the powerful essential oils that we process from rosemary plant. We use many, many, many methods of extracting the oils from rosemary crop. Like I said at the beginning of the program, rosemary is used as a herb. We use the herb to make tea, we make stews, we bake using rosemary, we roast meat and we use rosemary. And rosemary when extracted can be dried, can be ground and can be packed as powder. Rosemary has powerful medicinal uses. According to experts, rosemary can be used as antibacterial, anti-cancer, anti-catahar, anti-fungi, antioxidant, and expectorate. Expectorate is used in vapor therapy for those people who have extreme and acute problems of on respiration 
especially respiratory complications like bronchitis, TB, asthma, and such like, the people who attend to vapor therapy are recommended to use the vapor that comes from hydrosols that are produced from rosemary. Rosemary is used in therapies of people recovering from memory loss, people who have had accidents and are recovering from a collection of memory. Rosemary is used as an aroma in a room as a therapy in memory retention and learning. Patients who suffer from aging muscles, gout, muscle cramps, hair loss, dandruffs, arthritis are recommended to use rosemary as part of their treatment. However, it is important to note that rosemary is not supposed to be used by patients who are suffering from epilepsy, early pregnancy and late pregnancy, and patients who have bouts of blood pressure. Caution should be taken for patients who have epilepsy, early and late pregnancy, and bouts of blood pressure. It is goodbye for now. My name is Gadoni Mushomba.